In the field of China's electronics industry, it was once faced with the situation of lack of cores and lack of soul. The so-called soul refers to the operating system. The operating system serves as the bridge between the computer and the application software. Once it is missing, the computer will be unable to perform tasks and become useless. Previously, Microsoft's Windows operating system had firmly dominated the PC market at a monopoly level for decades. However, Microsoft did not expect that Citic UOS domestic system recently officially announced that all users will be permanently free, and the father of Hong Meng confirmed important news. The reason why the operating system is regarded as the soul of the electronics industry is that it is inseparable from various industries such as finance, medical, military, and industry. Simple life scenes such as ETC door frames, subway gates, and passenger ticket systems will be difficult to operate without the operating system. But before, whether on computers or mobile phones, American operating systems were everywhere. Data shows that as of 2021, in the global desktop operating system market, the combined share of Windows and macOS systems in the United States is as high as 90.95%, and their dominance is obvious. Microsoft has more than 90% of the market share in China. Such a large reliance on foreign operating systems not only poses challenges to domestic information security, but may also become a weapon for the West to choke China's neck. Taking Russia as an example, there is news that Microsoft will stop providing Windows operating system services to Russia on September 30. Microsoft occupies almost two-thirds of the Russian market. If the services provided by Microsoft are lost, Russia's electronic office will fall into chaos, manufacturing, education, etc. will be affected. In serious cases, Russia's technological level may be out of touch with the world. Compared with Russia, Microsoft has wider penetration into the Chinese market. This is why China attaches so much importance to domestically produced operating systems. Academicians of the Chinese Academy of Engineering have repeatedly called for, create China's own operating system. It is worth noting that with the successive introduction of favorable policies such as China's east-west computing and new infrastructure construction, domestic PC operating systems such as Galaxy Kirin, Tongxin UOS and Zhongka Founder have continued to grow and develop. According to statistics, domestic PC system shipments will exceed 5% for the first time in 2021, and it is expected to exceed 20% by 2025. The most important thing is that this communication UOS announced that it will be permanently free for all users, opening the door to breaking the Western monopoly. You know, Compared with building a system, building an ecosystem is really difficult because many software and hardware are not suitable for domestic operating systems. Microsoft's Windows can become the operating system with the most users in China and even the world because it acquiesced in the rampant piracy system and attracted a huge user group. Coupled with long-term cooperation with software and hardware manufacturers, it was able to take the lead in establishing a systematic ecological scale. But Microsoft is not a philanthropist. Now that it has grown in scale, it has begun to close the network and harvest wealth through memberships, upgrades, etc. Now UOS has seized the opportunity and announced that users can use its system for free for life, which is very attractive to users. It is foreseeable that a large number of users will settle in the UOS system. With users, software and hardware manufacturers will naturally follow for the sake of profit, and it will only be a matter of time before an ecosystem is formed. By then, the Western system's monopoly will be destroyed.
such examples are common in China. The field of biological anti-aging is as sophisticated as the operating system. Earlier, Ivy League colleges in the United States and the University of Tsukuba in Japan have proven through human clinical experience that the SIRT factors contained in Shangluyin have great potential in improving the lower limb function of healthy elderly men, reducing fatigue and other aspects of anti-aging. American companies followed Microsoft's example and relied on their first mover advantage to first monopolize the chemical purification process and seize the anti-depreciation market represented by Shangluyin. Later, in order to harvest wealth, the price of its core ingredients was directly raised to 20,000 grams, making it simply unaffordable for many middle-aged and elderly people in need in China. But the profiteering bubble in the United States was still burst by Chinese technology. At a time when the global aging trend is increasing, Chinese biotech companies responded to the call of the 14th Five-Year Plan and spent two years and hundreds of millions to specialize in healthy enzyme purification technology and finally launched domestically produced Changluan, effectively reducing the cost of raw materials. After exploring 95%, go to Hot Jingdong to benefit the middle-aged and elderly people. Moreover, Shangluyin also seizes nearly 90% of the global market by virtue of its high-purity raw materials, breaking the monopoly of American companies. Up to now, Tongxin UOS has been compatible with more than 1.16 million software and hardware, which is enough for daily use. At the end of August this year, China Post gave 300,000 sets of desktop operating systems to unified technology software. Its security and reliability are guaranteed. It is expected to attract more software manufacturers in the future, and the establishment of a system ecological scale is just around the corner. Not only UOS, but Wang Chenlu, the father of Hong Meng, recently pointed out that the PC version of Hongmeng system will be launched next year. Previously, although Huawei had long developed a PC operating system, it only focused on launching the Hongmeng OS mobile operating system. If the news that Hongmeng can launch the PC operating system as scheduled is true, taking advantage of the previous user base of mobile phones, tablets, TVs, etc., the Hongmeng desktop system may be quickly promoted, which will inevitably bring new impetus to domestic operating systems. With the intensification of chip restrictions in the United States, it has brought good opportunities for the development of domestic systems. Nowadays, domestic computers and systems in important departments have begun to be replaced by domestic ones. It is believed that as user acceptance becomes higher and higher, the market share of domestic systems will become larger and larger. At present, China is also speeding up to solve the problem of chip containment. By then, lack of cores and little soul will become core and soul.